hello again everyone in this video tutorial we are going to solve this given system of two equations with two variables by using elimination method the very first thing we want to do is look at the top equation we want to call it equation number one and the second equation below i'm going to call it equation number to make sure the next step we want to do is we want to multiply equation 1 by 5 on both sides so let's go ahead and multiply the first equation equation number 1 by 5 I'm going to multiply by both sides just put a 5 and everything 2x plus y equals to negative one you can put it like a, this one so let's go ahead and distribute this thing so that's going to be a simply that's going to become 10x plus 5y equals to negative five i'm going to call this new equation that we got question number three so the next step what we want to do is we're going to add equation two and three let's go ahead and put down equation number two is three x minus y y equals to negative 21 and equation number three is 10 x plus 5 y equals to negative 5. since now if you look at these two one you can see that we can easily cancel out negative 5y and positive 5y, isn't it? So that's the reason what we did the, these previous steps. So what we got is, once we are done with this thing, we got simply 3x plus 10x makes 13x, and these y's are gone equals to negative 26. I want you to divide both sides by 13 so x turns out to be negative 2. now in the next step we want to plug it in whatever we got x equal to negative 2 in our equation number one and we know our equation number one is 2x plus y equals to negative 1 and here you see this value i'm going to replace x by negative so this is going to become two times I'm going to put down X as negative 2 and then plus Y equals to negative 1 so that's going to be negative 4 plus Y equals to negative 1 we want to isolate Y so I want you to move this negative 4 on the right hand side so negative negative one and when you move negative four on the other side become positive four so y turns out to be positive three thus our solution turns out to be a negative two comma three where negative two is our x value and three is our y value thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos